Hello everyone, today we'll cover Phantom FTM who's making a structure and having a nice bounce today up 7% on the day. The structure is nice, we are at the base at Phantom. The MA50 did catch up to the price and now it's below the green uh, candles. Will it be enough to get a new momentum up and be able to break this downtrend that we have been since the peak in March of 2024. Quite a few crypto assets have this type of structure. Some are higher, some are extremely similar to this one. But if you wanted to buy at a bargain price or at a good price relative to the risk that you put when you invest, this is the period of time in the year where most of the coins, including Bitcoin, are at base levels. Nobody wants to touch them. Nobody wants to invest. Today, I just bought $50 of Bitcoin and $50 of Solana. The price is quite low and people are very fearful. So I chose to buy those two assets that are key in my portfolio. Potentially, one of the last times that you get the possibility of buying this low in this cycle. This also applies to Phantom. The only thing that is missing here is a little bit of more volume, but we are not breaking the structure. So here what we want is a few more days of green and a, a push upwards above this blue line with volume to try and break this resistance. We're going to get in a position where if the price turns, we're going to have a golden cross later on in October, end of October, or maybe November. And as you see here, before we got the golden cross, we initiated this price pump from 17 cents up to a peak of 45 cents. So we got the Initial push, then we corrected a little bit, find support on the ME200, and then had another master or huge pump for Phantom. We could have either we could have either a big pump right away for Phantom or a two two peak pump like you see here. It will depend on the market, it will depend also on Bitcoin, what it's doing. So but the risk is low on Phantom. If you want to look at this asset, it's it's still riskier than Bitcoin and Solana for sure, but it's part of the altcoins. And if you have done your research on Phantom and you think that it has potential, then it, right now it's one of the best positions or time periods to either start a position or build the position. Not financial advice. So this is the weekly structure for Phantom. Peak here was around $3.40 in January of 2022. Since then, we corrected quite a bit. We see clearly here a base at 20 cents. That is the solid base historically for this asset. But we set up a new higher low at 30 cents now. It seems that now 30 cents is the base and we are at 44 today down from a big correction that peaked at around one one dollar and 20 cents as you see the ma 50 on the weekly chart corrected stabilized and now it's building momentum first with this pump and now if we break again and push upwards we're going to continue this uptrend up to the right. That's what you want. That's how you set momentum or follow momentum on an asset. You don't want you don't want to invest in assets that have the MA50 on the weekly chart on the way down. You have to wait until it stabilizes. That's a nice region to accumulate. And then if it, if it turns upwards, it's even less risky to put your money into that asset. So as you see here, when it was down, I wouldn't have bought, would have waited. 
here we don't know if it's still going down or not when it bounces here then you confirm that this is a good support starting here would be a nice accumulation period before the pump here and as you see once it started going up then it confirmed your bottom pretty much but yes then it corrected and the MB50 has not reacted that much but it takes a while and a lot more data of the ME50 to go down. So if we don't get the breakout and it continues to go down, the ME50 will turn flat and eventually come down. And that's something that you don't want to see. So if we see a breakout with strong volume, then you have the signal of really potentially great results for Phantom. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. See you in the next one.